Keys family, welcome to my channel, Black Sheep Law with Tara. And I'm here to do a collective reading today. So before I start, I do want to clear the energy with some sound therapy. Okay, so I really wasn't planning on getting on camera today. But I had to redo my setup, and since I'm still working on that, <laughs> like, whatever, you know. I do want to, you know, meditate on the energy a little bit. I do want to invite my angels, like angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors for any messages for my soul tribe, my soul family. Anyone that comes to my channel seeking any guidance, inspiration, um, looking for answers at any point, at, at any time that they view this reading. Two parts that already popped out. Um, aloneness with control did come out. One just jumped out. Projections. So I don't feel like this is directly towards you. Maybe someone in your energy, someone that you live with. Um, they may be needing some alone time. Or in their alone time, they're realizing that they need to let, let go of some control issues. And they may be projecting that energy towards you. If this is a relationship, someone could be actually traveling towards you with projections and dreams. Someone could be astral traveling. If this is a third party situation, someone is comparing you to someone else and they have to let go of that control. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. You can't compare someone and be like, well, I can control how this is going to turn out because this person has that quality and that person has this one. And yeah, because I'm, I'm getting that this is definitely more on a spiritual side. It's not physical comparison. It's not physically going to see you. There's a lot of astral projection. Um, this can be on both your part and theirs. I'm picking up strong Virgo energy as well as um, strong Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay. So with that being said, let's get some guidance from the Sacred Rebels. <coughs> I'm sorry if I'm not giving y'all any, any eye, to eye contact over here. I'm sorry, but my table, my setup is a little off today. But never, nevertheless, I'm still going to continue to, you know, and push forward with this reading. Let's 
So what messages do you have for the collective? I'm getting that someone has a lot of indecision to make to um, when it comes to ending something, being done with something. Someone is indecisive about how to end something. We have free from judgment, free to love, as far as a manifestation in the world, not of the world. I'm going to get more information with my good old Lenormand deck because this could be anything. These messages could be any for anybody and anything. So I'm going to be more precise on as far as a manifestation. With this virus of manifestation, I'm getting that you have some jealous, envious person around you who's trying to hinder your manifestation. Someone's worried about the type of finances and money you have coming in or going out. You know, somebody's, I'm going to call that pocket watcher. Spring, what messages do you have with this free from judgment, free from love? Free from judgment, free to love. Put my message there. The anchor card. <clears throat> Someone has made a definite decision to move forward in the way that they choose to love someone. Someone was um, indecisive and at a crossroad, but whatever decision that they have chosen to do, they're sticking with it because they f feel free from um, any outside opinion on the way that they love someone else or how someone loves you. Spirit, can what messages, messages do you have for in the world, not of the world? In the world, not of the world, with the bear and the tree. Um, I get a number of things. Um, someone's mother may have some type of health health scare. Some type of incident with a mother's health. <clears throat> um, I'm getting pregnancy. Someone may have a pregnancy scare. Um, are finding out that they're pregnant. Um, what was that? In the world, not of the world. In the world, not of the world. Um, there may be some maternal, um, ancestral, getting grandmother, great-grandmother um, type of advice or inspiration that may be coming to your spirit. Pay attention to those messages or those little voices, so, so forth, okay? Okay, so I am going to 
pull from the tarot. Units. Okay, and I do want to do some more sound therapy. Just lightens up the mood, I know. <laughs> okay. So I am going to work with the um, After Tarot deck. And then I may pull a few from the, um, a few confirmation cards from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. We have time. viewers, subscribers, anyone who clicks on this channel for information. Okay, you or someone else may be an Aquarius. Someone may be getting their hopes, wishes, and desires met. That could be a time frame for someone. Um, something that you've been expecting or waiting for may happen around, what is that? Um, January, February? Someone, <clears throat> someone is stubborn and holds you close in their energy. It's like um, the same thing that I was picking up earlier about the indecision. Um, someone um, hasn't come to a complete decision on something, and um, but they're stubborn. It's like um, the King of Cups, their emotions are still there with you. I'll pull a few more cards. Yeah, they haven't made a decision. This person is very stubborn, very stubborn energy, yet they want to move forward towards you, but I don't think they've communicated that to shit. Um, someone secretly, I'm getting two, two different scenarios. Um, someone secretly watches you, spying, so to speak, stalkerish, <laughs> a little bit, and then um, also someone thinks they're keeping secrets, but it's like you already know what's going on. Strong um, water sign energy um, with the King of Cups being here. The moon, so we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, strong Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Strong Leo energy as well. Yeah. Someone definitely has secrets and some deceptions, but it's like, I'm getting the feeling that um, you already know these secrets, the, the deception, the things that they do, you already know, is you're already hip to it, you're already on game about it. Um, some of them want to make an offer towards you. 
um, they're just moving slow. They're moving at their own pace. So they do realize and acknowledge that they have done some shady things in the past. But it's almost like the offer that they're willing to give you, it doesn't match what you already have to give, what you already bring to the table. It's like, it's like they're bringing pennies and you got folded bills, you know, like paper money and they're bringing pennies to the table, basically. If that makes sense, that's for somebody. Their deception, their lies, their secrets cause, you know, a very karmic entire lesson in their life. Um, it caused you to want to move forward, even though this person know that you two together could have created a happy, long, happy home, um, a stable living environment, strong Aries energy I'm picking up as well. Yeah, you could have had the Ten of Coins with this person. And it, um, there may just be reconciliation. There may be justice with the um, Ten of Coins and justice here. I'm getting strong reconciliation that, you know, this may take time. Like I said, the with the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, like, your offer is bigger than theirs. And with the Leo card, it's like I'm getting, they have strong ego, strong pride when it comes to money, finances, and being able to provide. So this person is definitely, with the Emperor card being here, they're definitely a provider. And they don't want to see you walk away because, you know, they can't live up to their part of the end. I may have time for a few more cards. Let's see. So what confirmation do you have for the collection? What additional messages or confirmation for the collection? We have the Four of Swords, the Queen of Cups. Well, that's, we have a pair on the table for sure. The King of Cups with the Queen of Cups. Oh, we also have the Queen of Swords with the Three of Wands. Yeah, someone definitely was in a third-party situation. Definitely. Um, they may have also been doing... I'm getting someone was doing ritual magic on this person. Um, spells, hoodoo voodoo, like <laughs> maybe even possibly feeding it to this person. Yeah. Someone was wrapped up in a situation where they were under a, a very strong love spell, almost making them addicted. Very toxic energy I'm picking up from this past relationship if you were in a third party situation. Ooh, this is some strong energy. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna get a few more cards in from the rebel deck. Because we some rebels over here, okay? Straight rebels. Is there any other confirmation or additional messages? do they just fell give me a second <laughs> okay get the fuck outside move your ass your body is pissed at you you equal tight ass loosen the fuck up control freaks don't get laid 
I guess. <laughs> you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. You do you. You equal tight ass. Get the fuck outside and move your ass. Yeah. There's a lot of tension. A lot of throat chakra blockage possibly. If you're holding on to anything that you need to let go of, now is the time to definite do, definitely do that. By releasing any toxic energy, emotions, habits, now is definitely the time because we it started out with a start card. So you definitely have some things that you're working on manifesting. You're definitely prosperous when it comes to your home life. Your stability is there. Like, yeah. Get the fuck outside. Move your ass. I need to take some of these words <laughs> into play in my own life. Like, seriously. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. Mmm. Some of y'all need some sexual healing. And remember to just do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. So whatever you already know about this person is either accept it and deal with it. Let it go and move on. Either way. Nobody's going to change because of you. Alright family. This, is what, this was your reading. Again this was for the collective. It was a general reading. If you're new to my channel and this reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, share, share, share. Peace, family.